Hi, this is Mike Clement with Greater Sum. Today we're going to look at a simple way to get Jasmine set up so that you can unit test a practice project. We're going to go to jasmine.github.io. We're just going to go to get started. We've got more information here. We're going to be using the Jasmine standalone. And then we can go here to the releases page. We're just going to download this Jasmine standalone zip. And then once that's downloaded, open it up. Now you can see in here, there's a lib, a spec, and a source. Lib contains the Jasmine library. The spec is where we're going to put our specifications or tests. And SRC is where we're going to keep our source files. And you can also see here that there's a spec runner, that HTML, and that is how we get feedback on how our tests run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another Explorer window. I have a folder where I put all my code and I even have a specific folder for Greater Sun videos. I'm just going to create another folder here and this is going to be, I'm just going to call it uh, and this is, you can name that whatever makes sense for your particular project. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these files over here. And then once I'm in here, um, I'm actually going to use um, Visual Studio Code to open up this folder. Now that I'm here in Visual Studio Code, I actually see that there are some files already in place. And what we can do is if we open up that folder and actually open up our spec runner, we can see that it actually has five specs already in place. So we're actually going to delete and then here in our spec runner we're going to set up our new files. Now by giving it the name fizzbuzz we're going to use the, the, the fizzbuzz exercise. Um, we're actually just going to set up a first test um, but to show you how all of that should be set up. So we want to have our source file here. We're going to call it fizzbuzz. So we actually need to create that file. And then we also need to create our fizzbuzz spec. So we will do that here. Okay, so we now have two files. Um, our spec runner should actually now show that we don't have any, any specs found. And it does that. Here, what we're going to do is um, let's say describe fizzbuzz. And I'm um, going to say it. And we're just going to say it should return string one for one. Now, don't worry, we're not really going to get into what this code is actually doing. Um, we're just going to make sure that we can get everything wired up for whatever problem that is you you are going to be doing. And we say expect. And so expect is an assertion. This is a way that we can. Um, assert what it is that we want to have happen. So we're going to say is buzz translate and give it a one. I expect that that um, should equal string one. Now, if we go and run our tests, we will see that um, is buzz translate is not defined, which is what we expect given that we haven't defined it. So under fizzbuzz.js, show on split screen here. So now we're going to define a function, fizzbuzz translate, and it's going to take um, our input. Now that we have it um, there, we're going to actually run it again. We're going to see here that the error we get back changed. We see that now um, it's not that fizzbuzz translate doesn't exist or is undefined. We now um, get back undefined and we expect it to be equal one. So because we're not returning anything, if we were to return empty string, 
Now, if we rerun it, we're going to say expected empty string to equal one. Now, in order to get this to pass, all we need to do is return actually one. And now we're green. I hope this quick look at getting Jasmine set up for a simple practice project has been helpful. This has been Mike Clement for Greater Sum. Thanks.